परसेंटेज दैट वी आर गोइंग टू गेट वी आर गोइंग टू गेट आर एजुकेशन सिस्टम रॉन्ग इट्स द डे वी रियलाइज दैट दिस एक्स्ट्रा नॉलेज दैट नाउ यू हैव दैट लॉर ऑफ अदर पीपल विल नॉट हैव बिकॉज ऑफ द चेंज ऑफ सिलेबस पुट्स यू इन अ ब्रैकेट ऑफ लाइफ इन अ बेटर प्लेस सो यू मे नॉट बी इन अ बेटर प्लेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम बट यू विल डेफिनेटली बी इन अ बेटर प्लेस इन लाइफ एंड यू नो वट आई थिंक वी हैव टू रियली स्टार्ट टू लुक एट लाइफ एज द real part or the real deal and exam as the enabler of life not life itself so we have to change our entire relationship with exam i remember when i was in 12th grade and we had our pre boards and i think it was my economics exam and my hindi exam i think these were the two exams that i was a bit nervous about i was in icse and economics and hindi were the hard subjects for me personally and i remember deciding before my pre boards that whatever i study i will study properly instead of trying to get good marks in my pre boards so i only attempted 50% of the paper in hindi and i think i got a 45 or a 43 i have not get i mean this is many many years ago and i remember my hindi teacher calling me and saying pooja you are so good at hindi how come you've landed up getting 43 on 100 and i said i haven't got 43 on 100 i've got 43 on 100 for you i have gotten 43 on 50 for myself because if you notice sir i only attempted 50% of the paper and i did the same thing in eco and again i got superb marks on 50 and horrible marks on 100 and both my teachers were so upset with me that how could you just do that but you know what happened because of this preparation when i actually attempted my final boards i was so fully prepared for half the paper and i only had to study for half the paper why am i sharing this with you only because i want you to know that too many of us what our teachers think of us what other people think of us what what our exam results are going to look like we think it matters ask anyone in this room who's beyond 30 years of age and they will tell you they don't even remember what they got in 11th what they got in college what was their score what were their freaking subjects some of us don't remember i am the perfect example for you because i thought i didn't even go to college okay so from here on i want you to create a new relationship with your exams where all of what you are studying is because there's some achievement or mission you have for life not for results okay these results are great 12th results are great because you have to get into college college results are great because you have to get a job correct that's what it matters for now you be smarter than the results can i tell you i have met students and i teach in colleges right i have met students who are 98% on paper and when you meet them they don't even have the confidence to do a proper hello with you please i want each one of us now to start to realize that you know what your personality is going to take you wherever it's going to take you not your marks maybe for the first 2 years after college it might get you entry somewhere or the other after which nobody can help you but you yourself so let's really start to change this perspective around syllabus changed or the exam didn't go too well or depression how many children in tuition courses and classes are these days committing suicide across india and it is so sad to see what we've done to our own children i think a society that has children committing suicide has gone wrong 
Like we don't even know what if at 16, 17, 18 children are not able to cope with life, then you can forget it that they are going to be able to cope at 25, 26, 27. True or not? So I think we have to shift this entire conversation, my darling. And I really hope you become one of those inspirations to others, where even though the whole syllabus changed, you were smiling. Yeah, can we do that? See if you can try to create a new. I understand there's a lot of peer pressure. There's a lot of pressure from home. There's a lot of pressure from the world. But you know what? Don't take the pressure. I'm telling you, my the teachers were so disappointed, and yet in my boards I did so well. I didn't care what they think of me for two months. I know for the rest of my life they will think great about me. True or not? Let's do something like that. Let's do something radical about our education system. All right. Usha Aluri is asking how to practice confidence. I mean, how to look. I like how she puts the word how to look wise. Usha, there are many things you can do to practice confidence as well as look wise. Okay, one of the things where confidence for me personally comes from is say what I mean, mean what I say. So, for some time in my life, I actually started to speak a lot lesser. because i used to speak too much i used to speak wrong and one of the things i noticed was that most wise people have a very calm silent expression that carries them okay so i was of course observing all the wise people of the world so that was one of my observations so one of the things i started to do was i started to make less promises to people which means earlier on i would say yeah mummy i'll come for the kitty also yes beta i'll teach you science for your exam also to my friend i would say yeah yeah i'll be there for the movie also and then on that day i would be calling up my friend saying patta driver nahi aaya main aa nahi sakti or telling my son abhi to friday hai beta we'll study on saturday sunday today to mummy is called me for her kitty upstairs you know what i was doing i was not taking my words seriously and therefore the world was not treating me with respect One of my biggest lessons in becoming a life coach has been really start to speak what you mean. Otherwise, don't promise people unnecessarily. Say I will try if you can try. Say whatever's your truth. Upset people at that point so that you can build trust and dependability for life, rather than pleasing people at that point and losing your face for life. So we have to reverse our entire ability to. a uh, build confidence i want each one of us to start to really practice that we should mean what we say and one of the biggest problems we are having right now is people are not trustworthy you know what when you keep on promising and you don't plan to keep your promise those people are called scamsters and the last thing you want to do is be a scamster for your own friends for your own family for your own people you won't know why but suddenly you will start to lose people in your life and you won't know why they are not reciprocating to you the truth is that you are a people pleaser and the problem with people pleasers are that they are not able to keep their promise in the long run and if you don't know how to keep your promise you can't build your confidence that means everything that you're speaking you are in a maybe state confidence comes from surety confidence comes from certainty confidence comes from the fact that you know jo bhi hoga handle kar lenge i had heard this beautiful definition of confidence which i absolutely fell in love with rather i'll share both the definitions that i'd heard one was that you will be able to handle it confidence is not that you can achieve everything confidence is that when you go out to achieve and if something goes wrong you'll be able to handle yourself in that situation you know i have a lot of couples that come to me for relationship therapy or you know some kind of couple counseling and one of the things that a woman or a man may feel is insecure that what if some day this person cheats me and i translated that definition of confidence into relationships and one of the things i always tell the couples is the confidence is not that he will never cheat the confidence is that i will get better if he cheats and i remember there was a coffee with karan program where i think gauri khan had said this in another version but i was so proud of her as a woman she could have said so many things but she said i hope i can get better just that to get better than sharukh khan is not easy so god will really have to be kind to me amazing that she still had the confidence that if i can attract a sharukh i can attract better that's where we need to go right so if you really want to start to practice confidence start to notice that i want you to be prepared for the best i want you to rather prepare for the worst and hope for the best 
so prepare for the worst if this goes wrong i'll do this if this goes wrong i'll do this i'm not going to give up i'm going to stay i'm not going to quit just because things didn't go according to my plan how amita bachchan's father says so beautiful man ka ho to acha man ka na ho to aur bhi acha which means it if it happens according to me fabulous if it happens not according to me then it's happening according to god that's even better right so see if you can start to build your confidence with this new mindset that no matter what i'll be able to handle it this too shall pass is such a powerful sentence if something is going wrong in your life right now just start to go this too shall pass maybe 5 years from now i will look back at this day and laugh that you know i went through what i went through and as far as looking wise speak lesser that's one thing that automatically makes you wiser secondly never speak with 100% surety you know i feel like people who try too hard to be overly sure about life actually land up losing the conversation because anybody can make a mistake we are humans right so when in a conflicting situation and you feel nahi panipat ki war 1648 mein hi hui thi i don't know the year main bas kuch bhi bol rahi hu and the other person is saying nahi 1720 mein hui thi and you are saying nahi see beko pakka pata hai 1648 when you are all the time being proven wrong because you came from a place of extra confidence sometimes then what happens is eventually you lose that confidence then you're acting rather than being my suggestion any time you're even 100% sure present yourself as 90% allow for the other person to do or or understand what you're saying over time and come back to you there's so many times in my life people have come back to me 2 years later 3 years later that puja you had said that that day I don't know if I really understood it and I may have argued with you or I may have this thing but you know what over the years I realized what you were saying was absolutely right and I feel that is so much better a way to operate in your energy rather than saying my way or the highway or this is the only way 90% of the time when somebody asks me something I said go try it out what you are trying right now is not working for you that's why you are asking me correct so if it's not working for you right now why don't you go try out what I'm saying and if it doesn't work go back to your methodology because even i can never be 100% sure about what advice i'm giving to someone because i always know only one side of the story i can never know both the sides normally a person who's coming to me is talking about their interpretation of the truth with the other person now if i got an opportunity to speak the other person i may come to know that what they are telling me is a complete opposite of what is actually happening is that possible or not so i always have to give that benefit of doubt and i think confident people do not feel the need to look and appear 100% right confident people actually are the ones who will make you feel like you know what let's open this space up let's open our mindset to any one of us could be right let's google and check let's find out next time i'll do a research on this and i'll tell you exactly what i'm trying to say and you back off without losing your respect rather than putting your respect on line for some fact that may or may not be true so i really hope that i've taken some angle of confidence and spoken to you about it today some angle of wise ness i have taken and spoken to you about today of course there's a lot of conversation i can have around this but overall when there is harmony between your mind your heart and your tongue i feel like that person is a wise person that means what they are thinking what they are feeling and what they are speaking is in synchronization and in alignment such people become very attractive and very charismatic to others so a lot of times we are thinking something else saying something else meaning something else those people we won't know why but we won't feel like trusting them so my idea of a a confident person or a wise person is someone who's in complete harmony and the more harmonious you are the more influential you become on people because people are easily able to trust you easily able to see your authentic vulnerable side easily able to connect with you because of that reason and therefore your ability to influence them goes up All right. Neha Delhi 19. I'm constantly posting on Insta but not growing what to do. 
सो नेहा आई एम नॉट श्योर वॉट यू आर कॉन्स्टेंटली पोस्टिंग बट टूडे देर इज मोर इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन हाउ टू गेट योर इंस्टाग्राम गोइंग देन एनीथिंग एल्स वट आई मीन इज लाइक लिटरली एवरी थर्ड वीडियो इफ यू जस्ट गूगल विल टेल यू वॉट यू नीड टू डू सो आई डोंट नो वॉट इट इज दैट यू नीड टू डू वॉट आई डू नो इज रील्स आर डूइंग बेटर देन पोस्ट सो आर यू मीनिंग रील्स यू आर कॉन्स्टेंटली पोस्टिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट थ्री मंथ्स इट टेक्स अ लिटल वाइल for your instagram to pick up that's the time you are building a library so if you are too connected to the likes and the shares and the comments then the chances are instead of building a library you are just building a validating platform where you are waiting to be validated all of us at some point have asked my i have asked my brother or mother to go and type something and say ek do comment aur ek do likes to dal do fir aur koi bhi dal dega so we all at some point have been beginners okay and then moved on to different different strategies like boosting our posts or you know you will see me putting in every caption i will put type below comment below dash and so you'll see even though my likes will be some Four five hundred. My comments will be hundred and fifty, right? So each one comes up with their own strategy of how you want to grow your Instagram. I am growing my Instagram more for the people who already follow me. But if you really want to get new people to follow you, then Reels is a must. Okay. So yes, absolutely. So I would love for you to start to look at what's going to be a strategy that you're going to follow. Are you finding out what time to post? Are you commenting on your comments? Are you DMing them? Are you asking them to share it in their stories? Are you sharing things in your stories? Are you being So there's just so much science to growing your Insta followers. I think all you need to do is first practice consistency which i think you're doing a fabulous job on so let's give you a round of applause for that and then after that slowly and surely you can start to you know look at all the other things that you'll keep infusing 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 my suggestion do a few courses on instagram mastery so there are different different things available in the market see if you can go do that then use some of those things there are people who are doing a phenomenal job of it i literally get i think at least in my dm one or two messages per day where people will be telling me i can help you grow your instagram please get in touch with me get in touch with these people find out even if you don't want to take them on maybe they are pricey or maybe they are not the right fit but even if you don't want to take them on see if you can get yourself to at least connect with them to get ideas on you know what are the things that you think you can do better to grow your followers okay don't get disheartened i feel like instagram also has little seasonal there are times when it grows really well and then there are times where it starts to kind of stabilize and then you have to re uh, you know uh, what do you call that recreate some sort of a drama for the instagram to start to get give you more likes or algorithm to work for you so all of this is science don't get personally and emotionally involved in it yeah hey ma ma'am you look different today is it because of the filter very well could be uh, i've also done my makeup a little differently if you see my eye wing i have done it in a very different position i normally do like this i today i've done like that so it could be a little bit of the makeup is it the hair i don't know you tell me in the chat box what you think is different and it could just be the filter i have used the no filter filter today so maybe that's what's creating it Gunjan Gupta Pooja I had a very bad past with my husband now a days my husband is good for me but I can't forget my past and move on with my life with my husband please give answers and Gunjan this is the whole problem of relationship sweetheart you know by the time the other person changes you are so hurt that you don't have the capacity to forgive and let go and then what will happen the man will go back to thinking that no matter what i do or be she's never going to be happy and he goes back to becoming who he was and by then you will be ready to forgive him because and that is the vicious cycle of relationship that carries on with all of us right so you want to become so careful that if you sit in your hurt if you sit in your trauma too long you're going to land up re attracting exactly what you should have actually let go of what benefit are you having if i may ask you in keeping your past as your highest memory can i tell you people who think their intelligence comes from memory 
I believe the exact opposite. I think people who do not let go of their bad past because they are too intelligent to forget what was done to them suffer because we tend to bring back into our life what we focus on and guess where your focus will be on the hurts of your past. Now instead I am going to ask you for the next one month every time a past memory comes to you I want you to match it to a beautiful future. So let's say you are imagining your husband being extremely rude to you and shouting at you. I want you to in that moment drop the memory and take a visual of a future where he's bringing flowers and cake and a beautiful gift home for you and you are all excited to meet him because you know today is a very special day and look how cutely he's pampering you. To every bad memory I want you to replace it with a better future. Over time the bad memory because you wouldn't have given it any energy any emotional uh, charge it will start to fall away in your mind in our mind we have these thick thick negative pipes that get created because of the traumas we've gone through now because blood is flowing through them one more trauma and we are able to go back to all the traumas because blood flows through all the the big thick negative pipe now if you are really smart and really intelligent you want to start to starve this pipe and create a new pipe which is going to help you build a beautiful future which is one of the reasons why you'll notice that I tell so many people that you know what you've got to start to do gratitude every day every day every day if you don't do gratitude every day it is going to land up building your strong negative pipe when you do gratitude every day now what happens the vision of your future the goodness of your life you notice only the good stuff and over time this memory starts to fade away you'll say I know that day we had a fight but I can't remember what we fought over I know he made me feel bad last time we had come to Goa but I can't remember what was the fight about and you know that's when you are progressing towards a beautiful future till a day will come when you will not even be able to recognize that gunjan that used to be in that problem problematic negative victim phase so a day will come where you'll be like oh my god what a sulk I was and today look at me I'm always happy no matter the situation I can find something happy in it and that changed for me when I started to do gratitude every day every day every day I had to let go of the things of my past I had to let go of all the hurts as I was carrying and you know what our ego loves sympathy our ego loves to feel like I was the better one I didn't deserve it I don't know why it happened to me instead of feeding your ego start to feed your future and can I tell you your future will become so beautiful that a time will come where all of this will disappear but it takes a lot of effort a lot of energy and a part of you has become too comfortable with the negative pipe creating a new pipe is a lot of effort and a lot of work right so I really want you to now go into this mode where before your husband goes back to becoming the man he was I really hope that you let go of all of the hurts that you've had okay I am very soon going to be at some point in this year doing a relationship special for three days whenever I do it I will announce it on my Instagram and I really hope you can ab you're able to make time for uh, a detailed discussion on all the things that we as couples need to do to take our relationship to the next level a lot of you know that this year is my 25th anniversary year so I've been doing a lot of these small small things with my husband that I'm noting down right now so I'm in practice mode right now but I think by the end another 90 days or so I am feeling like all of my experiments will be complete and then the experiments that have worked I'm going to do a complete workshop for all of you in this room to just master relationships whether it is with your spouse or with friends or with in-laws or with children or with I just want you I want everyone in my tribe to be a PhD in relationships because 90% of all questions I get across all my courses is relationships question so I'm just amazed that no matter how many times I answer this question it keeps coming back again and again I think you all need to go through a deep dive with me if you are interested and excited put excited in the chat box so that I know that you are excited about wanting to come for my relationship sessions okay all right Anita Gupta is asking how to increase our intuitive powers so 
once you understand what is intuition okay now we have and scientifically it's been proven we have a brain in our mind we have a brain in our heart when i say brain that means actually neural pathways that get connected and absorb knowledge and memory for us to make better decisions so it's there in our brain it's there in our heart and it's there in our gut so in your intestine i our intestines is one of our largest organs if you they say that if you spread our intestines it's across a few football fields or something like that so that's the amount of um knowledge or the amount of um, understanding that our uh, gut has so i want you to start to on a daily basis put both your hands on your i also call this womb wisdom especially for women so on your womb i want you to put both your hands and every day start to respect the guidance that is coming from your womb okay what happens over time is that in the beginning it feels like i don't know what my womb is trying to say to me but it's saying not to trust this person or go and call up this person today or go for chinese today you know every day we feel like doing something but we don't follow our heart thinking oh it's coincidence or it is uh, arbitrary what our heart or mind or uh, body is saying not true can i tell you i've had so many circumstances in my life where i have just followed my gut intuition because my gut intuition said why don't you call up that friend from you know singapore and when i gave her a call she was like oh my god pooja i have become a zumba teacher i am moving to chennai i heard you wanted to learn dance classes why don't you come join my course what how did that whole connection happened the thing is when we are in alignment with god and i know anita you definitely are in alignment with god because of the work that you do you are fabulous i just want you to start to trust your gut your wisdom your goddess guidance a lot more and the thing with intuitive powers is the more we trust it the more it starts to speak to us in the beginning it is whispers and over time you will almost feel like your gut is speaking to you from your environment itself you will start to see signs of butterflies and feathers and coins and these are all different ways of the universe communicating to me and intuition is a feeling sometimes matched with some sort of an a symbol or a or a like a like a what do you call it just like a hint in the universe that will come to you and then when you follow it you realize oh my god this hint was connected to this opportunity or this i did and this happened and the more connections you make the stronger your intuitive powers and by the end of it i promise you i have days where literally telepathically I'm able to just communicate with people that I that will just you know out of the blue call me and say things that I was like I was just thinking about you and I know I'm not alone in this room with this thought so many of you have these powers you're already using them some consciously and some unconsciously now if you're using it unconsciously the more conscious you make it the more power you will start to feel in yourself because I will literally say god this is what I want now you send it to me and sometimes in 24 hours i'll tell you one thing like let's say one of the things that recently happened was i wanted to pick up a property and my husband said pooja in chennai that property doesn't exist it's no longer available things are just selling out da, 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 da. i said don't worry sweetheart i've already put it on my vision board it will come to you you don't have to do anything now okay and can i tell you literally a week later he came back and said i've already finalized the property He was like, I don't know from where it came. I'm like, thank you. That is me attracting through you. Okay. And I want each one of you to know here. This is the level of power you live at. By the way, I'm already ready with my wanting to buy my second property. And again, he started his same story. There's no land available across Chennai. Nothing is possible. Nothing is available. I said, did I ask you? When I'm ready for it with my with the money in my bank, I know what I need to do for that week to get it. Okay. So don't worry. You don't worry about that. I just want you to know this that you know what each one of us is supremely powerful whether in our manifestations or in our intuitions the thing is the more you manifest the better a manifester you become the more you listen to your intuition the better you are or the more powerful your intuitive powers become i hope anita you're going to be able to use some of this to become more and more intuitive i'm pretty sure you already are but i guess this will be a nice reconfirmation for you darling Okay, let's go right to the bottom and see what's happening there.
Oh, nice. I like the wow, wow, wow. Fatima Mej, also, can you do something for singles? Of course, I'm going to put a whole portion of how to attract the man or the woman of your life. And while I should be only doing man because mine is an all woman's tribe, but I'm how to attract the best man into your life. I am going to take definitely a part of that program is going to be for singles because I feel like just too many people around me are interested in finding the right person but they are not putting in any effort because they really don't believe that he or she exists there's a certain amount of i don't know what i call it um negative is not the right word but you know it's like a certain amount of gloom around that you know i've dated a few guys and it hasn't worked out and i don't think today they are manufacturing the kind of men there used to be and we've started to go negative about the fact that that one person doesn't exist now i want you to know with our kind of population on earth even if thousands of people are not a match all you need is one and that one person for sure exists and when you believe he exists he exists and then he starts to come towards you when you believe he doesn't exist we block our um, energy towards attracting that person so i'm 100% going to have at least a 2 hour special in that program just focused on how to attract the right person into your life this is such an important topic today for our children for our uh, the youth coming in and for a lot of people who have focused a lot on their career or on their life and have not have missed the right age bus as they call it which i am not a big believer of at all i think if you find the right person no matter how long you waited it was worth the wait and if you married the wrong person because you didn't want to wait you know you are going through the punishment of not waiting for the right person so i am a big believer that the right person is going to come and he's going to come at his own timeline and that how to make it faster we'll i'll definitely cover Oh nice. Ooh, so many people putting excited. So cute. Richa KV, should we do a confrontation if somebody has betrayed us and we feel full because of that? So Richa, there are there is no right answer to this question. It all depends on where you are want to go with this relationship. So a lot of times when someone betrays me, I feel like in one way God has protected me because he's let me know what kind of a person this is. Now it's up to me whether I want to retrust them or not. If I don't want to retrust them, if I don't want to continue my relationship with them, then sometimes I move away without confronting because I feel like you know what I can see now in them this personality trait that they have shown me and I can see it is not just against me but this is something that they are like their upbringing or their personality carries this and they are not going to change because of one thing I say so a lot of times I choose my battle depending on is it even worth it now if it is someone who matters it is if it is someone where I believe that talking to them will make a difference and that they must know what they did you know how can i just move on without letting them know i have invested so many years in that particular relationship then at that point i will confront them in a way that they don't remain or become defensive so very important is the style of confrontation okay you want to confront to see are they apologetic or are they extra clever and if somebody becomes apologetic then i am willing to give them a second chance so apology accepted and even trust i am willing to retry with them but let's say i confront them and i realize that you know what they are still only protecting what they are doing and they are not willing to see your side of the story then i kind of know that this person is in this relationship for themselves and it was great till it lasted but the train of life has given me enough hints that i need to get them off on the next station that i shouldn't carry them all through my life stations they were good for these many chapters of my life but continuing with them will only land up damaging or hurting me even further so again richa it's a very um what would i say it's a very it's something you need to think about on which route you want to take you know one of my teachers used to say when you see something in someone that you can't that you don't think you can change then learning to accept that
quality and still continue to love them is a great thing to do if you feel like this is an this is something i can't accept then confronting them and creating conflict over it is worth it to try out what if they change and if it's a non negotiable which means it if they've done something to you that is just completely unacceptable then removing them from your life is also very very important and to know the difference between who to accept who to confront and who to remove is definitely what you have to walk towards your your wisdom your intuition and your knowingness of the other person okay i in my life many times have confronted people where i realized that you know what the confrontation only gave them more of an opportunity to continue to give me more of the bullshit that they were already speaking that was not the agenda right so it's all about where you want to go with this person and a lot of times i let some things pass because i feel like maybe the person is going through a phase now if you do decide to confront my suggestion always is talk about your feelings not about what they did what they did when you talk about they get defensive but when you speak about how hurt you got how that made you feel how you felt like this is not something you'd ever have with this person when you speak about emotions and feelings people don't get defensive so it's a much better way of having a conversation than trying to tell them but you shouldn't have said this and you shouldn't have done this and you shouldn't have that makes a person want to uh, start to you know give you stories that is not required so i've given you every angle and now you're going to have to go and see what would be the right answer for you in this situation and whatever the right answer in this situation is not necessary it will be the right answer in another situation so take it one situation at a time yeah Tejaswini Rajput what is what's in your background ma'am please please can you share these are all uh, buddhist goddesses so i went to i went for new years to bhutan last year and uh, i got very attracted to all of these goddesses i have quite a few on my wall if you can see i think they're almost i don't know 24 to 36 of them and each one is a beautiful goddess with like you know i'm a big follower of the kuan yin goddess who's the goddess of compassion and then there is the green tara and then there is like i just i love all of these goddesses so i picked up these tankhas and i got them framed unfortunately i forgot to tell my framing fellow to give me glass which is non reflective so while you can see the some of the paintings you can also see what they are reflecting in if you can see the white white house that is actually a house opposite my house so it is reflective i have to give it for non reflective but of course i love uh, my tankha paintings they are so amazing right it's her it's not my office this is my home my office is that large big painting um, which has a whole story by itself oh nice Balpreet Kaur how to get rid of jealousy hmm so two kinds of jealousy one is the jealousy that you are feeling for others one is the jealousy people feel for you first let's just understand what is jealousy okay so mel robbins has this beautiful description on jealousy which i absolutely love that a lot of times in life we don't know what we want when we feel jealous of somebody or something it's a great way for us to discover that this is something we desire so it's literally a magnifying glass on your desires so next time when you feel jealous instead of cursing the person or feeling like they don't deserve it or out of jealousy speaking things that you shouldn't say start to absorb the jealousy by starting to think okay so i'm feeling jealous of this person's lifestyle or i'm feeling jealous of this person's travel or i'm feeling jealous of this person's husband what is that telling me about what i want to desire in my life maybe i also want this kind of relationship maybe i also want this kind of career maybe i also want this kind of travel and what am i willing to do in my life to bring this into my life and one of the most beautiful things that i have learned is that blessings are boomerangs okay note this down blessings are boomerangs that means when you bless someone and you say good for them i'm happy for them god actually boomerangs that blessing and sends it back into your life in some form or the other when we curse people what happens is god thinks that oh you don't want that because you're cursing it and he takes it away 
so that you do not have to be connected to what you are jealous of so i am going to highly recommend start to bless the people that you are jealous of okay now one thing in my life i like to always talk about is that not only should you understand who you are jealous of you should also understand who is jealous of you so that when you next time feel jealous you also should understand the relationship there and there for you to have a complete picture so what do i mean by this whenever someone is jealous of you just look up and thank god in gratitude now this person in their jealousy may be speaking about you maybe uh, you know spreading rumors about you maybe saying things to you that that are opposite of what they are feeling maybe they are copying you in some ways maybe they are there are different different ways that jealousy shows up in different people right any time in life you realize that other people are getting jealous of you i want you to know you are going up the ladder we always feel jealous of people above us nobody is jealous of the beggar on the road okay we are always jealous of people who are above us which means the higher you go the more people you will have who are jealous of you so literally when i find out someone is jealous of me i say thank you god please send me more that's what that's my prayer thank you god please send me more i'll handle them i don't need to stop being my brilliant self or stop doing what i do just because somebody got jealous which is what a lot of us do we start to play small so that nobody else feels insecure or intimidated please don't do that okay now that you know how people are looking at you next time when you are feeling jealous of someone give them the credit that they have something that you want that they have worked for you know when we say oh they got lucky but when you get it you say oh i worked really hard for it that is such an unfair place to be in whenever i feel jealous of someone i actually salute them because i know how hard i worked to get here so if they are better than me then i know how much more hard work they have put in than me and to me when i see a thin person i know the hard work it takes to be thin because i have very little control over food after a while i just you know tend to give in or whatever so i i am when i am jealous of someone i am actually in appreciation of them so let's replace the word jealousy with the ability to appreciate and bless and suddenly jealousy will not have a negative connotation instead you know what is going to do is going to change the way you think and when you change the way you think and you do not pass any negativity to that person whether it's your sister in law or your mother in law or any friend who's getting too much appreciation in your groups you start to become that and the beauty is one day there will be more people and i pray for you and for everyone one day should come where there are more people jealous of you than you have people that you are jealous of and the day that equation sets you're in a wonderful place my friend and for you to keep growing keep feeling jealous of people that way you know what's the next thing you want in your life what's the next achievement or goal or desire that you have sometimes sitting by ourselves on the sofa we are not able to make out what it is we want but when we see someone else have it we realize oh my god that's exactly what i wanted so it is such a beautiful way for god magnifying something in your life that needs to come into your life yeah so see if you can now start to create a completely new relationship with jealousy where literally it does not make your heart small and petty but actually grows your heart to bless this way also and this way also i bless you may you get what you uh, are feeling jealous of in me because may you work that hard and may you get it i pray for you and i pray for you too that as you enjoy what you are enjoying may some day i also be there and i also enjoy what you are enjoying how fabulous would that be hai na nice let me go right when is the session for singles abhi i don't know anything i'm just telling you i'm going to do it nice all right davra rajshri how to get rid of frustration i have seen at regular that i seem to get very frustrated i don't know why so rajshri sometimes what happens is the energy of the world has become contagious and currently the energy of the world is very down there are people across the world currently who are suffering at a level that we can't even imagine sitting in our houses now that energy has waves 
okay so if too many people are sad in the world there is a certain especially if you're a sensitive human being which i'm guessing you must be if you're asking me this question a lot of times what happens is those waves get carried and we land up absorbing them and when we wake up we don't know what we are annoyed about what we are frustrated about what is making us so angry but something is and those are the days when you want to spend time in your meditation time in your gratitude time in journaling so that you can remove that emotion and move on to something better so i love asking my frustration where are you coming from which person have i picked this energy up from and if i get an answer then i journal on that if i don't get an answer then i know that this has come from the environment okay that in the world there must be this energy going on and if i'm not able to identify exactly from where i'm getting this irritation frustration stuck feeling whatever it is on different days it's different things then i just journal to bless the world and love the world that may this world suffering reduce and may you know what i'll just again what did i say blessings is boomerang when we bless it comes back to us so what happens is that when you bless the world with good feelings those good feelings return back and then you won't feel so irritated and so frustrated as you may be feeling sensitive people have to be extra careful because we are like antennas okay so while a normal person may not feel anything you will not know why but you will start to feel so restless in your body you will not know why you will either feel like crying or feel like shouting or getting into a fight with someone and you will be like what's wrong with me it's not what's wrong with you it is the world's energy right now it is in a state of you know there are days when i just don't sleep i just get stuck till 1 o'clock i'll be wide awake i'm an 8:30 sleeper okay and i wake up at 4:30 so I, for me to get stuck means that's it that whole night is gone the whole day is gone but i know that that i am a very sensitive person and my sleep gets deeply impacted if there are if there's too much sadness in the world i know that i won't be able to sleep because my mission is to help with happiness and sadness right so the days i get stuck i just watch something on my phone and i don't get upset with myself any longer what are your what you are talking about your frustration i'm talking about my sleep it happens to me it may be happening to some of you too i don't know so just start to treat your frustration as your being very sensitive to the world and that's your beauty meri jaan don't get rid of it just know that you make sure you don't remove it on anyone else but on paper the beauty of paper is it can absorb all of our emotions whether it's irritation frustration anger upset and you know what when you release it on paper and tear it out if you know that jab we met scene where he goes into the bathroom and burns it and flushes it and all that you do all of that you will feel so much more better do it consecutively for 21 days the feeling of frustration will disappear from your body okay just try it out and see where it goes okay All right, we're already at four fifty-two. Okay, so those of you who learned something today, who have a takeaway, don't forget to share it. Fabulous! Some of you are so consistent and so amazing, and some of you, I think, have stopped doing it. See if you can start to do it again. It's a good way, you know. One hour of information sometimes does not make us realize what we need to focus on. And just by you writing out on your stories, what's that one thing that you need to focus on from today's conversation helps you bring focus to that one thing. And I would rather you take away just one thing every Insta live and practice it than have so much knowledge but no practice. Hena? Oh, so nice. Parul Singh, Pooja, I am registered for awakening. All right, all of you here who are interested in registering for awakening, all you need to do is link. Okay, the word link. I'm also going to put it in the caption. If you if you type the word link in my captions below, in my comments below, automatically we will DM you the awakening registration. Okay. So all of you here who are interested in joining the awakening program and would like to come for the master class to understand what is this one month beautiful awakening your goddess program all you need to do is in the comment box just type link and we'll send you the link to be able to join the awakening program god bless all of you thank you so much for coming oh nice insta also shows the thumbs up i know i think if you do heart also i think insta will also show hearts just look how it is so cool no yeah The other day I saw someone doing it. I was like, "Wow!" Thank you, Pooja. Oh, so sweet. I have followed many of them over the last two years. How lovely. Love you. 
Priya is saying, ma'am, today also I didn't get my answer. Priya, you know what? The number of questions that come in every week, it's almost impossible for me to answer everybody. I'm going to be on the lookout next time. If I find you, Priya, I promise you I will answer you. I don't choose. I just keep scrolling and whatever question God wants me to answer, he makes me focus on. So if for any reason your question got neg neglected, do notice that somebody may have asked a similar question and that may have got answered okay so sometimes it's good to notice that and if not if it didn't get answered at all please come back next week you know i'm not going anywhere you're not going anywhere let's continue the journey for making sure that sooner than later your question gets answered you know i feel so bad there was a time when about a year ago where i would not only finish answering all the questions that were asked in the insta live if you dm'd me also i would answer the questions but now it's become so much, what a lovely problem to have, I'm not complaining at all. But it's become impossible for me to answer the questions or to keep up with the number of people that type their questions, okay? Don't put link here in this comment box. You have to put link when I share this video. Underneath that, when you put link, automatically it will send the link of the awakening program, okay? So many of you have not done awakening and you're coming for my Insta Live, you should do awakening, Mirijan. Awakening is one of my best courses. It will really open up in you that goddess. Ye jo sari dikh rahi hai na piche. Ye sari different different avatars will just open up. Alright. Fabulous. God bless you all. Thank you for coming. Tata, see you. Bye.